Welcome to SKC Tech Clips. Today we'll show you how to calibrate a sample pump for high flow sampling with a filter cassette and cyclone. Start by assembling equipment required for calibration and sampling. Choose a constant flow air sample pump capable of flows one liter a minute or higher. Select a calibrator within the pump's flow range. Use method specified cassettes, filters, and supports. Select a respirable dust cyclone that meets your application requirements. A filter cassette holder allows the filter cassette cyclone assembly to clip securely onto worker clothing or in the area to be sampled. Some cyclones have a specific calibration adapter. A calibration jar is used for those cyclones that do not have an adapter. A cassette opener facilitates removal of the inlet section of a filter cassette. Tubing connects train components, while optional lure adapters make it easier to connect tubing to the filter cassette. Calibrate verify pump flow rate before and after each sample. Remove plugs from the inlet and outlet of a cassette containing a filter representative of the type to be used in the field. Use a cassette opener to remove the inlet section from the cassette. Align and press the cyclone into the cassette's exposed middle section until a firm seal is established. Some cyclones, such as the SKC Aluminum Cyclone, have a calibration adapter designed specifically for use with the cyclone. Keep the cyclone's grid pot installed on the cyclone during both calibration and sampling. Install the calibration adapter on the stem of the cyclone. Use tubing to connect the pump inlet to the cassette outlet. Use a second length of tubing to connect the calibration adapter inlet to the calibrator outlet or suction port. Run the pump for five minutes and the calibrator according to manufacturer instructions. Set the pump flow rate to that required for the designated cyclone. Each cyclone has a unique flow rate at which it will achieve the desired collection efficiency curve, including the 50% cut point. The 50% cut point for respirable dust is 4 micron in the U.S. and most other countries. Enter calibration mode on the pump. See pump operating instructions for more information. Observe the flow readings on the calibrator screen and adjust the pump flow calibration until the calibrator displays a consistent reading that is within 5% of the cyclone flow rate. After calibration is complete, remove the calibration train from the pump. Set the calibration train aside for flow rate verification at the end of sampling. If no calibration adapter is available, use a calibration jar to connect the cyclone to the pump and calibrator. Keep the cyclone's grit pot installed on the cyclone during both calibration and sampling. Remove the lid from the calibration jar. Connect the outlet of the cassette cyclone assembly to the lure adapter on the calibration jar lid and thread and tighten the lid on the calibration jar. Use the tubing from the center of the calibration jar lid to connect the jar to the pump inlet. Use a second length of tubing to connect the barbed elbow fitting on the jar lid to the calibrator outlet or suction port. Prepare and run pump and calibrator. Set cyclone specified flow rate. Enter calibration mode and adjust the pump until the calibrator reads flow within 5% of the desired flow rate. After calibration is complete, remove the calibration train from the pump. Set the calibration train aside for flow rate verification at the end of sampling. We are now ready to begin sampling. Remove the representative calibration filter cassette from the cyclone and replace it with a new filter cassette to be used for sampling. Insert the cassette cyclone assembly into the holder inlet side down. Remove the plug from the cassette and connect the cassette outlet to the pump inlet using the holder's connector and tubing.
Attach the holder in a worker's breathing zone and attach the pump at the worker's waist where it will not inhibit movement or sampling. Turn on the pump. Sample for the length of the work task or shift to meet requirements. Sampling times may be limited due to analytical reasons, so be sure to check your method. Stop sampling by turning off the pump. Remove the sampling train from the worker. Reinstall the outlet plug and remove the filter cassette cyclone assembly from the holder. Remove the cassette from the cyclone. Reinstall the inlet section on the cassette and the plug in the cassette inlet. On a sampling sheet, be sure to record pertinent sampling information such as sample start and stop time, flow rate, temperature, and atmospheric pressure. Identify and label each cassette for chain of custody. Package all samples in blanks for shipment to an accredited laboratory for analysis. Remove the cassette holder from the pump and reinstall the calibration train to verify that flow calibration is still within 5% of the desired flow. For more information and tech clip videos, visit www.skcinc.com. Click on Technical Library.